you're not in purpose. You're not in place. You, the first thing you need to know about a season is the definition of your season. Come on now. Why? Why is this season upon me? Why am I here? How did I get here? Shouldn't worry about I always trying to come out of a thing. Why am I here? How did my life get here? Say. Is it faith? And then what is the evidence? I just said something. Is it faith? And what is the evidence? Amen. <clears throat> Does anybody hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And when you're working with real faith, when you're working with real faith, when you're really working with real faith, real faith has a language. Yes, it does. Real faith gonna tell your mind what to think. Your mind ain't gonna tell faith what to think. Come on now. And so when you start feeling, when you really start feeling, and you and you walk from the realm of faith. Then your feelings is going to be connected to a principle. Okay. You hear not just say something. Amen. What is a principle? A principle is a law. Come on now. See, it's illegal to feel if that feeling is not connected to a law, to a principle. Just, uh -huh. just move to like feeling, feeling everything. You may not feel like being here. But see, when your feelings is governed around faith, when your feelings is governed around a principle, when your feeling is governed around a law, do you know in the kingdom of God it's illegal to have illegal feelings? Come on now. Our feelings are not legal, Brother Daniel. This is not legal. It's it, it just not legal to, to feel certain things. Come on now. Just like it's not legal to loan your imagination. Like when somebody said, can you imagine? No, I can't imagine. My, my imagination is too expensive to loan out. I cannot imagine that. Are you following what I'm saying? See, see, there, there is a, there, there is a, there is a time and a place where, where understanding must come in. You just can't be doing stuff to do stuff. Hello. Or else you become a busybody. You're just busy. You're not effective. You're just, you're just busy. Amen. You, you being busy, but you're not productive. Come on. It's a difference in being busy, but you're not productive. Everything you do yields a result. That's why you gotta know what you're doing. Amen. See what I'm saying? And that's why you gotta know what you hear. I think it's Luke 4. Luke 4 says, take heed how you hear. But watch this here. Luke 8 says, take heed what you hear. Come on, man. Are you are you getting that? Mm -hmm. You gotta take heed how you hear and take heed what you hear. Amen. What is the source of what you hear? Where is it? What, what gives you faith? What really gives you faith? What really turns? What drives you? What really drives you? What's driving you? What's making you tick? What's making you content? Are y'all hearing this here? Someone, someone go to Luke 4. 23. No, Mark 4. Mark, uh, Mark 4 uh, <laughs> and 23. How do you know that God will meet you at the point of your faith? Amen. God meets you at the point of your faith. You want to find what God is? He's at the point of your faith. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and let me say this, let me say this here, Sister Kimberly. Just because you want something don't mean you got the faith for it. A walk doesn't guarantee that, that, that there's a faithful. It could just be a walk and not a faithful. I'm just hearing that. Amen. Now listen to this here. Listen to this here. We, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna talk about some things this morning because you can have something and don't know how to use it. Hello. And it's bad when you ain't got no faith and no money either. Yeah. You you really in trouble. Because <laughs> this, this economy, this economy is all about this. It's all about the cash. They don't care whether you're white or but they will prefer you to be green. Say, come on now. You, you'll get that one tomorrow. They will prefer you to be green, not black, white, Mexican. Come on now. All right. 
They, I, mean, I mean, society now would prefer you to be green. They don't care about being Democrat, Republican, Independent. That means nothing when it comes to business. Come Are you green? The system listens to the green. And since it does, it, since it do, we, we, we all want to have some. Now, 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 that ain't the foundation of what I'm talking about, but what I'm talking about will lead to that. See. Because God would never put you in a system where he becomes unnecessary. Come on. God would never make a world that you can't enjoy. Mm, I just said something. See. That's tweetable. <laughs> God would never make a big old world and you can't, can't enjoy one. God would never have you in a field that you're in and can't have seven of them. Come on now. With, with, with what we believe. Now, so, now this is just the way I'm thinking. I mean, I think like this all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, you sitting around watching the parade and, and don't realize you're the drum major of your own life. Hello. Mm -hmm. I'm just hearing what I'm saying. Amen. It, it come a point in your life, you got to get tired of, of living at the parade. Mm -hmm. you you got to get tired of being on the sideline. Hello. See, it, it, it's, it's, it's your words that govern your life. Mm -hmm. and, and, and let me go and bust your bubble. You, you got faith whether you believe you got it or not, because you got it from somewhere. You sitting there now believing something. Hello. Even if you don't believe in what I'm saying, you, you, got a, you got a belief system running right now. You either tune into what I'm saying, or you got your own station running. Amen. Come on now. Wouldn't it be stupid if mother to go to the go to the show? Brother Daddy, wouldn't it be stupid to go to the show and then all of a sudden you you playing with your iPhone? Say. You look like uh, 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 movies on your iPhone and you just paid to get in a big screen, HD? Say. You'd be surprised how the, the how interruption will come in your life and, 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 and put you on another path. Mm -hmm. And you write at the thing that you need to be looking at. What if I told you everything you watch and do and say gives off information? I'm going somewhere with that. Just stay with me. Mm -hmm. Everything you look at, everything, every, everything talks. Everything talks. Everything collaborates. Everything, everything collaborates. I can touch this chair. It's already talking. It's collaborating. Say. It's nothing because everything that's in life serves a purpose. Come on now. Everything. Everything communicates. I don't have to write you a book about eyeglasses. It communicates. It's talking already. Take your glass up, they're talking now too. I better put mine on, it's already talking. <laughs> see, see, everything communicates. When your car don't run good, it's communicating to you. It's saying, get out of me. Come on now. <laughs> when you have nowhere to put your clothing, your house is saying, I'm too small for you. Come on. <laughs> when you got more money than money, then your money is talking to you. Say. It's telling you you need to come up with an idea. You don't need a better job. Same time it's not that you trying to better the job, you need to better the mind. Come mm, on, say. Because sometimes it's not in the job, it's in your mind. Mm -hmm. Because you could be on the job because the job got the jo your job got Susie getting ready to come by there uh, uh, at, at, at 7 p.m. two weeks from now. See. You've been on the job five years. But it wasn't even about the salary on the job. It was about Susan was supposed to come by five years later at seven o'clock. See, that's that people can't even get with that. Amen. Are you following? Does anybody know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Let me get back here. Everything, everything is talking. Everything is talking. And everything gives off a faith. Every, everything calls you to believe in it or not believe in it. Hello. Based on your perspective, based on your use of it, based on your need of it. Did y'all just hear what I just said? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, you gotta slow down and ask God. See, don't ever be afraid to ask God why. Hello. If you don't know, the worst thing you can do is not ask questions. Mm. Okay. Mother, the worst thing you can do is act like you know when you don't know. Is anybody hearing this here? Because mm -hmm. a lesson not learned is a lesson what? Repeated. Repeated. A lesson not learned is a lesson repeated. So you might as well ask them the question. Say. Listen, 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 listen. Now, 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 I'm, I'm going to give you some things to think about. I'm going to give you, God bless you, man of God. I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you some things, uh, I'm going to give you some things to think about here. Thank you. Some questions that I, I want to drop in your spirit and, and, and only you can answer. 
Amen. Uh, I told someone to go to Mark 4. Mm -hmm. Mark 4, 24. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I didn't know that, that if you hear right, if you hear right, if you hear God right, you live right. Amen. Spiritually, physically, mentally, financially, socially, domestically. Amen. God cares about you. I mean, I said that. God cares about you. And how many know that the Holy Spirit does more than just have you speak in tongues that everybody don't understand? On, the Holy man. Spirit will give you directions. Amen. Yes, it will. It will tell you to sign the contract, don't sign. It will tell you to go here, don't go here. It will tell you to embrace this person, don't embrace this person. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit will, really will talk. How many know God's word was designed to give you instruction? And then how many know that when God speaks, he's not always talking in chapters? Come on, What if man. I called you house talking in chapters? Brother Daniel, what if I called you talking in chapters? You trying to do business with me and I'm full of chapters. Pretty soon you're going to say, uh, a prophet, I understand that, but can we talk? Can I know really what you left or right? <laughs> you, you, you follow what I'm saying? Because sometimes we get carried away. <laughs> see, see but, but the Bible says that the sons of Issachar were men that understood the timing and the seasons of God, what Israel ought to do. sitting here right now know you're uh, listening to me across the, across the country here. How many know the next move of God in your life? How many, how many really know where you're supposed to be? How many can really know that you're really in the time and in the seasons of God? Amen. And, and what if I told you God can't trust you until he tests you? Come on now. You ain't got nothing to say. Mm -hmm. and, and, and hear me, I'm not talking about putting sickness on you. I'm not talking about that foolishness. I'm not talking about that. But can God really trust you with an assignment? Can God give you really give you something to do? Can He, can he really trust you? See, see, if you can't be faithful at the zero factor, you won't be faithful at the hero factor. Come on now. If you can't be faithful with nothing, you won't be faithful with something. Isn't it something how some people need an audience to obey God? Come they on. need a bunch of applause. Say. To obey God. But when you really start really serving God for really and grow up and put on your big underwear, you see what I'm saying? All the accolades ain't gonna be there. Right. Everybody ain't gonna say thank you. Come on now. Everybody ain't gonna pat you on the back for a job well done. Somebody may act like you ain't did nothing. Come on now. But see, when you're doing it from the heart, it don't even matter. Right. Hallelujah. All I know, God got a payday that's awesome. Say. God got a payday that's off the chain. I'm just hearing what I'm saying. Amen. See, how you hear God determines how you respond to God. Amen. How, how did you hear it? <laughs> See, after God speak, if there's fear, then it's something you didn't hear. Come on now. Because when you hear it from God, it's going to give you a confidence. It's going to give you a boldness. You're going to be relentless. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, I mean, I mean, it's, it's going to be, I mean, you're going to feel unstoppable. It's something about when really God's speaking to you, you can go against the odds. Hello. You can look like you don't have enough, but on the inside, you overflow. Mm -hmm. You like bring it on. How does he hear what I'm saying? Amen. <laughs> see, the Bible says in Thessalonians, examine yourself and see if you are in the faith. Say. No, the Bible said what? Faith coming by what? Hearing. Faith coming by hearing. Not heard. Not heard. Let me say it again. Faith don't come by what you heard. Faith come by what you hear. Yeah. Faith come, in other words, faith coming, mother, by present day truth. Say. Are we hearing this, Sister Marco? Are we hearing this, people? Now, I'm not here to talk to your flesh. I don't care about your face, how your face look. See what I'm saying? I'm, I'm here to talk to your spirit, man. Right. And if your spirit man ever get it, your whole life gonna change. Yes, sir. When your spirit man get it. I'm not moved by facial. I'm not moved by nothing. I ain't moved by all that exterior stuff. Because watch this here. Whatever your faith is in. Come on. If your faith is in anything other than God, when that that you got faith in leaves, your faith leaves. 
say? Uh, now let me say something. This is a married man. Do you know when you, when you marry a woman, a man and woman marry, it's not about how much love that you guys are in. I'm getting ready to marry these two in, in about a couple of months, another month, I believe next July, I believe it is, July 7th. It's not about, now I'm talking in general now, but it's not about how much you in love. It's how much faith you got Come in on. God in that relationship. Come on. Yeah. Because if you base your marriage on how much in love, it's some days you ain't going to like one another. <laughs> uh, can I bring it on home? Can I bring it on home to you? Now, this is my wife, about 30 years, and I have a like to all 30 years, and she ain't like me all 30 years. Are uh, you following what I'm saying? <clears throat> but it was the faith. That heaven, because my when I married her, I didn't put my confidence in her, See, come on, and she didn't put her confidence in me. Because there's many times along the journey that I let her down, and she let me down. But one thing we had, we made a covenant with faith. Come on, and man. so that's why when things went crazy in the marriage, you follow what I'm saying? That's why we could continue because my faith never more than you. God told me to marry you, so when you got you hear nothing I see. You ain't hear nothing I see. So, because in some days, if my faith was in her, then my faith goes when she goes. Say. When she goes, that my faith goes. That's too much control. Oh, wow. That's just too much control. Oh, I'm having a good day, but my confidence is in her. My faith is in her. So when she's pissed off at me, now my faith is pissed. Mm. I'm not living a life of miracles, what I'm living. You live in the life of a believer. Help you live in the life of all things of heaven. Let me show you what you do. I'm glad you asked. I'm glad you asked. I'm not scared of y'all. I'm glad you asked. Since y'all asked, since you want to act, I was trying to teach somebody to challenge me. I heard you in the spirit. Now watch this here. Ephesians 1 says this. Now you, now you show me. Now, 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 now you ain't got to raise your hand, but you can raise your hand if you want to. Would you like to live a blessed life or a life of miracles? A blessed, a blessed life. life. <laughs> Come on here. Because, see, what a miracle indicates, <coughs> Brother Ryan, is this. It's too late. If, if, if God always got to raise the dead in your situation, we, we, we stop you from dying. You died too much. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> it's more easy just to walk, come on, in, 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 in the ascension of the resurrected life than it keep raising you from the dead. Come on. Maybe, maybe, well, he died because he didn't eat right. Well, maybe this time not only raise you up but give you some sense that pork ain't good for you. Come on. We didn't teach y'all to eat right. Are y'all, 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 y'all getting this in? Mm -hmm. See, <clears throat> See to give you a bunch of money and don't give you no, no spiritual empowerment about the economical system and how it works. Mm -hmm. To don't educate you and let you know that it's better to, to invest and just put money in a savings account and make 4%. Amen. You stack all your money and come on, you allowed to have X number of dollars in the bank and if you invested that, it could be five times as much. But because you lack knowledge. So by you lacking knowledge, you're going to need a lot of miracles. Mm -hmm. Now let me say this here for record's sake because see somebody run away with this here. They'll say, so is private preaching this miracle? I'm not preaching this miracles. No. Because if you get sick, you see what I'm saying? And you and, and, and you ate enough of that pork, and it didn't got you down. You, and if that medicine can't bring you around fast enough, you gonna need a miracle. Yes. <laughs> when that doctor say we done all we can do, you better know something else to do. Hello. 
<laughs> when the doctor say pull the plug, somebody better say, no, hold the plug. Mm -hmm. Hello. Don't you pull that plug. Say. Okay, are y'all okay? Is this, is this all right? Now I know this ain't you. I don't holler and scream. I don't grab the ear and hum. I try to teach somebody. Because I used to, when I was a little boy, mother, while the preacher was yelling at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, somebody's yelling at me. I ain't been nothing. <laughs> you know, I didn't, I, I'm a kid. I didn't understand. You know, he, he would drink some water and grab his ear and, and come by me and hold his neck and squall. And I'm trying to tell him. I don't know what's going on. I'm, not, I'm a kid. I'm trying to process all of this. I just want to be saved. Say. I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? And then as I, as I learned, I learned that, you know what I mean, that was ignorance. Come on now. <laughs> you, know, you know, when I was a kid, they, they used to give, Mother, you remember, they used to have a sick and shed in lists. Hello. Now, some of y'all, if y'all know y'all mama, ask y'all mama. Yeah. If you don't know, go ask your mama and your girl about the sick and shed in lists. If you black and your mama or daddy was in church, they know about the sick and shed in shed in lists. You may not know, and go, just keep going down the line until you find out what in your family. Oh, yeah, baby, that came right before the announcement. Hello. Hello. The sick and shed in lists. And so, one time, they spent about 20 minutes on the sick and shed in lists. And so, I'm a little bothered by myself. I said, well, who's here? Is everybody sick and shady? And so I told my mom, I said, Mom, I don't want to be sick and shady when I grow up. Say, say. I didn't come. They was trying to give me a God, the wrong definition of a God that was more powerful. Say, say. Because I would hear the stories, I was hearing conflict. And, say, wait a minute, I'm going to say, why are you lost? Uh -huh. I'm on this, I got a grip on faith today. I got this. I mean, I was hearing about a God that allowed a man to walk on water, but yet somebody got sick and didn't. That's conflict of information. How many is hearing this here? If God can do that, he can do this. Say. You hear nothing I say. Nothing shall be impossible to them that believe. And see, when you believe, that means doubt can't be present. That means fear can't be present. That means negativity can't be present. Come on now. And I just said something. That means your culture, your, your race has nothing to do with your belief system. Your belief system must be pure. I mean, Hello. I mean you got to believe, brother, 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 down to the saving of yourself. What do you mean? I believe till my mind don't know nothing, but I believe. You got to believe till your mind don't know nothing about you can. Because when you think you can, you can. And if you think you will, you will. Amen. I just said something. If you, let me say it again. If you think you can, you can. And if you think you will, you will. Come on now. I'm going to say that again. Somebody going to somebody gonna need that this week. Somebody going to need that this week. Everybody look this way. I'm talking about everything's looking at me. If you think you can, you can. If you think you will, you will. Let nobody move you from that. Mm. Oh, I fear. You better hear me. Are you Mr. Skip? Yes, I am. I don't care what your purse say. If the purse is where it is, right, it's where it is. They ain't going to stay there. I understand you may be in, in a situation where you say, well, well, prophet, I'm already at that place mm -hmm. where I was stupid. I did something crazy. But that don't have to become your reference point. Come on now, say. What you did, what you got, you ain't going to stay there. Say. Well, I know I should be to the 20 when well, you did. Mm -hmm. But you can't worry about it. And nothing you can go back there and do. But you can do something now. Hello. Right. Are you following me? Oh, Ain't nothing you can do about yesterday, man. Mm -hmm. I don't care how you messed it up. I'm gonna say something. I don't care how you messed it up. Mm -hmm. Nothing you can do. Nothing you can do, man, to go about yesterday. It's all about now. Now faith is. Now, now, now faith is. Trap between two present tense words. Oh, now okay. faith is. Either way you go, left or right, it's going to be present. Mm, that's good. If you deal with your now, you ain't got to worry about your future. Mm -hmm. If you deal Hello. with your now, you don't have no past. Because everything's in the now. Amen. Amen. You only great as your now is. Yes. I said, you only great as your now is. Everything that happened to you from this point on has to do with your now. It's nothing about that. yesterday, and nothing about where you were born, nothing about where you came from, and nothing about that. It's about your now. 
Are we hearing this? Amen. Well, let me get back here. So I told you, you shouldn't, you shouldn't try to disrupt off miracles. Amen. You want to live off the principles and the laws of God. Why? Because here's the word of God. Listen to this here. Ephesians, do you want this right the scripture now? You can turn it you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to. This is some good stuff. This is heavy. I pray that this stuff manifest in your life. Amen. What's good is to have a will, mother, that you can't execute? Uh-huh. What's good, Brother Daniel, to have a... Uh, 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 Brother Anthony, what's good to have a will that you don't execute? Mm-hmm. Are, you, are you hearing this, sir? Yes. What, what, good if, what good if your father then left you a will and you don't execute the will? That's right. Uh, you don't even open the will up. You, you're just living, about, uh, uh, living off how you feel. Uh, living off an, you don't have to live off an opinion. You can live off a law. You can live off a principle. Ephesians 1. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Yes. What did it say? Wait a minute. What did it say? Talk to me. What did it say? It said he's blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ. He's blessed us with every spiritual blessing. Every, every. every. Not some every. Every. Yeah. But if you bless me with every spiritual blessing and I believe this to be a revelatory word to me, then I don't have to depend on miracles to exist. Hello. If you read the Bible in the book of, in the gospel, notice when he would heal somebody. Y'all don't read the gospel and say he would heal somebody. He would say, go and sin no more. Mm. In other words, I don't want to do another miracle for you in this same area. Hello. Go and sin. I want you, there's a law. I want you to get some wisdom and realize that you're the head and not the tail. Above all and not beneath. Bless coming in, bless coming out. Everything you touch, prop. I want you to know that I'm the God to make the crooked places straight. I want you to understand that I'm not shy, the God Almighty. Jehovah Jireh, yeah. my provider. Jehovah oh, Nisi, my victory. I am that I am. Yes, I am. Hallelujah. See? So when you become to that revelation, then you're not just trying to poke around and live off a of miracle. Come on now. Right. You have an inheritance. Yes. I say you have an inheritance. Are y'all hearing this here? Listen to this here. Listen to this. Let me finish this here. Then I'm going to show you something else. He says, blessed be the God and the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all the spiritual blessings in in heavenly places, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world. Now, now what were you chosen? Before the foundation. Your daddy didn't choose you. Your mama didn't choose you. Before you were spiritual sperm in in your mama. He said, I chose you in me. Before you ever hit the earth, you had a relationship with me. Hello. <laughs> are, y'all, are y'all really getting this here? Yeah, man. See, sometimes we're so human, we can't be supernatural. Come on now. And, and humans are always getting in trouble. Hello. Yes. They didn't want to all over Facebook. Uh-huh. They didn't want to always in CNN, them humans. Uh-huh. <laughs> them darn humans. Oh, Jesus. Always doing something. Because, see, it's hard to be heavenly bound when you're earthbound. Come on now. Are we hearing this? Let me say this here. In him before the foundation of the world, to the holy and, and blameless before him in love, he predestined us to the adopted as sons to himself through Jesus Christ. Now that's on the ship. According to the good pleasures of his will, to praise of the glory of his grace, which he graciously bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through the blood and forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished on us in all wisdom, in all there they go, in all wisdom, mm-hmm. in insight, someone say in insight, in insight, making known to us the mystery of his will. What is the mystery of his will? The mystery of his will is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Greater is he that's within you than he that is in the world. Do we understand that? You, you understand me? Uh, 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 you understand what I'm saying? <coughs> Somebody make sure that air is right. Either I'm having a moment or y'all have a moment. One second. One second. She can't. So he says here, 
His mighty power, which he performed in Christ when he raised him from, from the dead and set him at the right hand and have the place for above all principalities and powers and mights and dominions and every name that is named, not only in the age, but also in which is to come. And, put, and he put all things in subject, subjection under his feet and made the head over all things for the church, which is the body, the foot of him who fulfills all things in all ways. Not long. And did we hear that? Mm -hmm. Did y'all hear that? See, this is a fixed fight. Yes, it is. Can you follow what I'm saying? Uh -huh. When you really know what you believe in, man, you ain't, you ain't got to move your faith around. I mean, th this stuff is believable. How many of us say this stuff is believable? Amen. Amen. I mean, what looks like the end of your life is not the end of your life. It is not over. Your over is over. Hello. Yes, it is. It was, I said your over is over. It's not the end of your life. I'm just here, this here. Now watch, now watch this here. Now watch this here. Go to uh go to first Peter right quick. Let me show you something. Y'all getting this here? Mm -hmm. Is this blessing anybody? Yeah. Amen. Man, I'm gonna tell you something. The rest of your life is getting ready to be the best of your life. How long? Thank what did you. I just say? I just say the rest of your life is getting ready to be the best of I put that out there a few days ago. The rest of your life is given to be the best of you. Amen. Now you can hear that. Now, now you gotta take heed how you hear. You gotta take heed hey, what you hear. If you hear it right, it'll manifest in your life. Amen. It will be. See, don't try to feel that. Because a lot of times we try to feel stuff. We mess up stuff. Come on, you, man. you don't feel stuff, you just let it be. Uh -huh. See. How many is hearing that? Amen. Okay, uh, 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 First Peter, First Peter. Um, is, it, is it First Peter I want? Stop, stop. Second Peter, Second Peter, first chapter. It says here, Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to those who have received in uh, uh, received a faith as precious and as ours through the righteousness of God and our Savior Jesus Christ. Grace and peace be multiplied. To him through the knowledge of God and, and, and Jesus our Lord. His, it says here, then it says, His divine power has given unto us all things that pertain to life and God and through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and excellence. Do we see that? Mm -hmm. What did it say, Margot? Did he give us some things? Uh, all things. See, he gave you all things. Mm. So if God gives you all things, it should be no lack. If there's any lack, it's not on it's not on God's part. It's on our part. Are you following what I'm saying? So so that's why I'm saying I'd rather live by principle than depend on miracles. Come on now. I don't want to live on 911. Just because you got a flat tire, do you want to keep getting the flat so you can put the flat tire on? No. no. That's that's what that's that's like a miracle. Miracles are there for breakdowns. When something goes wrong, the miracles have to put it back together. But there are spiritual principles that you can follow. Did you know that what's did you know what's better than a healing? Is divine health. Hello. Being healthy. Did you know did you know Brother Daddy, the same people that believe God for a healing don't believe in health, good health? Because they don't work out. They don't eat right. But them same people are believe for a healing. Well, why get healed if you're gonna go back and eat all that cholesterol? That's right. Come on now. If you're going to have high blood pressure food. Are, are we getting this here? Mm -hmm. Y'all getting this here? This blessing anybody? Yes. See, your faith would, see, the Bible said, now watch this here, I didn't say it, the word said The Bible said, uh, oh, oh, it says over in Hebrew, I mean, a back of two. It said, the just shall live by faith. Come on now. Wait a minute. So faith is not nothing that come and go. Faith is a lifestyle. Hello. Is anybody here in this room? Yeah. I said, your faith must become a lifestyle. Not a, your faith is not an event. Are you here, Mrs. Kim? What I just say? Somebody tell me what I just said. My yeah. faith is not an event. Your faith is a lifestyle. And when you start treating your faith like it is a lifestyle instead of a 911, 
Yeah, you, 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 you gotta get tired of living in that one, one life. Yeah, I know. Right. One day I'm flown, one day I'm not flown. One day I'm flown, one day I'm not flown. You hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because the system, the system is against you. Do, do you know your friend can get bad for having too much? You hear that, I see. The system is crazy. The rules you gotta play by. Say. Your credit, even though it's your credit, you still can. They want you to use a certain portion of that credit a year. I was told over there I was trying to check and business, mother. I was trying to check and business, and, and, and the gentleman told me, he said, you know, the thing that has lowered your credit is that he said you're using too much of it. He said, I understand you can pay it. He said, but the system of life where you use that much of it. Now see, that's control. No, they, it's, it's a percentage. You know that line. It's a percentage. It's a percentage that they want you to use of. Even though you got that limit, do you know if you if, if, if you get close to the limit or so far out from the limit, you can be paying on time, your score is going down? He said, I understand you paid them, but you used too much of the credit. I'm confused. He said, don't get, be confused, just correct it. <laughs> Are y'all hear what I'm saying? I'm trying to give you some wisdom. I'm trying to give you some wisdom. Because you can't go in places with tongues. Come on now. You can't go in places with tongues. And don't be going with no all. Don't be put your all up and talk. I used to be in the car business. I used to make close to $200,000 a year. And uh, God walked in my office and, and uh, uh, credit was lower than my address. And uh, mother, he walked in there and he got the oil and stuff and going on. I thought he had furniture pots. <laughs> <laughs> you know, lemon furniture pots or something. I don't know what it was. I'm trying to find out what the junk was doing. He said, the Lord told me that you're supposed to give me a car. And so I said, figure that out. I said, I said, figure this out. So you know, figure that out. I, I, didn't, I didn't try to try to. Rebelled him then, spill it out, because I already knew, I already knew what I had. So I took it, ran it, ran this credit, and came back. And I told him, I said, you will need someone to give you a car. <laughs> you will, if, it, if no one gives you, you're not getting one today. <laughs> and I began to explain to him and make some sense. I said, first of all, let me correct you. I don't own the dealership, so I can't give you a car. But I can show you some road. Well, I want that car right there. I say, but you don't qualify because you wasn't faithful over the hoop day. They got uh -huh. me possessed. Come on now. You were here that now? Say. Uh-huh. And, and so, no, I, would, I, wasn't, I wasn't devaluing him, but I was bringing him value by giving him some sense. Say. He said, but I don't want that car. I said, well, you're going to walk the next 12 months. I say, you got to face this big boy now because I say, you either do it now or this time next year you're doing the same thing. I said, let's go on. So I gave him what he needed, not what he wanted. Sometimes you got to get what you need to get what you want. Yes, yes, yes. yes. You hear nothing I said? Hello. Sometimes God will, will put you here to get you here. Same. I'm talking to somebody right now. I'm trying to help you. Are you following? Yes. Huh? <clears throat> Sometimes. And then you got to know when the season's up. I just, now that was a commercial break. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm helping somebody right now. I just, I just stepped in somebody's business. I stepped in their business. I just stepped in you. I stepped in somebody's business out there in, in the media world. Mm -hmm. I'm just hearing this here. Amen. Amen. So the Bible says that the just shall live by faith. Yeah. Live. Live. Not exist. Live. It's a different than existing and living. How many read to live? Amen. And I'm not talking about living a paycheck to paycheck life. Come on now. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about where you got more money than you got money. Right. I'm talking about God is, 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 is redeeming the time. Hello. Yes. God is making the crooked places straight. Are you following me? God, God is coming to put you back on track. And he's going to say, go and sin no more. Yes. Yes. Don't you? I don't want you to go and do the same dumb thing you did last year. Hallelujah. I don't, I don't want you to do no emotional spending. I want you to do some divine spending. Uh -huh. somebody, somebody didn't hear that. Yes. Divine spending. Yes. When God tells you to get up and go get it. Amen. Come on. Say. 
When God tell you, I got a woman uh, down the street that I want you to buy a house. I, I, got, the, I got this person. You, did you watch this here? I just had a, now this is a true story. Now my friend, you know, a man walked in the store. This is a true story. My wife and I just left this house last night. This is Kim. A man bought a car and found out the car could serve the purpose that he, need, that he needed. He paid cash for the car. Cash for the car. Walked in the store real loudly. This is this is a true story. This happened to one of my friends. This ain't no hypothetical I heard through the internet. No, this is real stuff. Remember I told y'all how God's gonna be moving and doing stuff? A man walked in the store real loudly with his keys up and said, I got a car I wanna give away. Anybody want it? And everybody looked around and didn't say something, didn't say nothing. My friend said, yes, I want it. He said, I'm getting ready to go back to Mexico. And he said, I can't take the car with me. I'm not going to have any use for it. And so the guy says, uh, but how much you want for this car? He, took the, he said, you giving that car away? He said, yes. He said, I have no use for it where I'm going. And I don't have time to sell it. Mm. He said, how much you want for the car? He said, I just put $20 and give me $20. And he handed him over the, this happened to my pastor friend the other night in the store. I just left his house last night. Yes. Say, Amen. he said, here is the title. Here's the receipt. And my friend took the car in the receipt, in the title, and went straight to the police station and said, sir, I just bought this beautiful car for $20. I want to see if it's stolen. He said, give me the VIN number. Police. The soda police ran the, the, the VIN number. He said, sir, you just got you a nice car for $20. <laughs> 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 Come on, See, that's going to be miracles that God's going to do. Putting stuff back on track. Yes. Put, remember, I told you, miracle, put stuff back on track. Come on now. <laughs> Come on. People are oh. going to be scared to even take it. Jeez. Man, you man, I, you in that season. <laughs> well, God's going to break rules to bless you. Oh, you ain't hear nothing. Yes. Yes. You ain't hear nothing. Yes. No, 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 no. This man didn't even know him. He just walked in and said, anybody want a car? And because we're not accustomed, we read about stuff in this word, but we ain't really. Uh, some people's faith ain't in there. They just listen to stuff. That was an add-on. He said, I'll give you houses and lands that you ain't paid. I'll give you stuff Come you ain't paid for. Mm. Come on now. Yes, you hear that now, sir? See, that, that's, a whole, that's a whole other dimension. That's a whole other dimension. That's another dimension where he's so stay in contact. That's why you have to pay attention in class so you can be hearing. Because he said, take heed how you hear. So if he was saying that, you don't have to live by words because God has given us a supernatural system a way of living through the words that he has delivered unto us. Amen. And it's our responsibility to get them, to receive them, and to meditate upon them. How many times do people really, don't tell on yourself, just keep living. Do you really meditate on this? Do you really meditate? Because it is so much coming at us. Um, yes, the it TV, is. That's right. the, the, the computer system, the news, all these sisters, so much is coming at you. So how much time do you really value? Do you have to have value on the word? If you value it, then you're going to give some time to it. Because anything that you give time to, if you pay attention to it, you'll give life to it. Whatever it is. I don't know what it is, good, bad, or ugly. So you have to really, going to have to really have this relationship with the Lord on a daily basis. I'm not trying to put you in bondage, talking about you got to do all day, no, but you're going to have to give some attention to this word. Amen. If you want to see this word coming. Well, let me ask you something. Your let me ask you something. So, so based on what I'm hearing that you just said, so my faith, the time I spend listening to God governs my faith. It tells me, it the more I listen to God, the more stronger my faith. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. right. Let me say that again. The more I listen to God, the stronger my faith. The less I listen to Him, 
unless it's my faith. So could I say, watch this here. Let me interject, let me interject this principle while you're saying this here. Somebody write this down. S somebody's gonna need this, okay? Your faith, I wrote this this morning in my office. Your faith is as strong as the test it survives. Come on now. I just said something. Your faith is as strong as the test it survives. Amen. So, so in testing time, if you are wavering, something wrong with your faith. Same. Okay, David said like this. He said, if your faith, I said, he said, in adversity, if you faint in the day of adversity, then your strength or your faith is made small. Or your strength is made small. <laughs> but all we can be made small, small certificate is because your faith is not in God, it's the thing. And as long as your faith is in things and people, you will be disappointed. Don't put your faith in your job. Because Amen. you only see when I was a, 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 a I call it an automobile salesman, I don't say a car salesman because it's different than a car salesman and an automobile salesman. See, we made money. Car some would be struggling. But automobile some would make money. So I was one of the money makers. But, 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 would you laugh at me, son? <laughs> but, what was I going to say before you laughed at me? Before you folks before, before, say I'm interrupted. Well, what's you what's you were in the automobile business. Say, say I was in the automobile business, and I, I said something else. My thought was in the room. It's in the room. Somebody got my thought. Sell an automobile, and I, and I made money. And why was I telling you that? Why did you need to know that? That's what you said, what? If you find a day of mercy, then your strength, your, your strength is made. But I'm still saying, why did I say the other? <laughs> so what did I have to do with the car? Call somebody because put the said, price on it. Because you said a, 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 car sale, a car salesman is struggling, but an automobile, but... Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. That, Say it again now. That's just what you laughed about. You didn't say I'm laughing. Okay, go ahead. You know, really, li listen to me. Listen to me. If you ask, you God said, what's everything you say when you pray? Believe when, when you pray. So if I'm believing, let's say I'm throwing this out here out of that, but if I'm asking God, I want, I'm believing God for me a home, then God heard me. Yeah. And then so. He's going to start, he opens the opportunities up for this to happen. He's going to send somebody, he's going to, because God works through people. Yeah. He's going to send somebody. It's up to you to discern when that somebody, the right somebody That's show That's up. That's and good. then when you get the right somebody, you just don't go uh, blank. Their expertise and what they do, then worry, what are you doing? You should be exercising your faith in believing for the right buyer, believing for the right, the favor, believing for the time. And you know, your faith got to be consistent with the principles word concerning what you have asked for. Because God had already moved. Because he said, before you, before you ask, I'll move. Before you think, I spoke, you remember, he just like that because he love us. So we can't get in the deal and drop the Bible. <laughs> See, we got to stay right on course yeah. with it. Yeah. And then, come on, God will make that faith is going to prevent or demonstrate the glory of God because God is the word. Jesus says that, I mean, in Revelation 21, Jesus is the word of God. God and the word is one. The Holy Spirit, all of that three is one. And then we one with him. We in this together. So listen, he has us, but if we don't understand his principles, we be messing up sometimes because we trying to understand a supernatural God with human reasoning. He all outside the box. You got to let him out the box. He ain't been in the box since in the Old Testament. <laughs> Come on, he done broke out the box. You got to let him out the box of your mind. See, when you read the word metaphorically, Come on, that's metaphorical. You gotta see that in your life. Amen. That, you know, Peter walked the water. What is walking the water got to do with your life? Come on, that you can walk the waters of life and walk on it, and it ain't on you. It ain't suppressing and oppressing you, but you got the authority <laughs> to walk on the waters of life. Come on, her and live. Are y'all hearing this? That's how it is. So it's not good to read the Bible in a natural mind because you know it's going to blow your mind and it don't make sense. Let me, let me interject this. Now, with, with that being said, let's, let, let, let's qualify everything. Just let's qualify that. Somebody write this down. 
Now, you all may not be able to write it, but catch it in your spirit. If you got pills of paper, write it down. If not, catch it. The objective of your faith. Because, see, you can have something and still don't know how to use it. Yes. I'm being honest with you. You'd be surprised of people struggling because they don't know how to use the faith that they're supposed to have. You follow what I'm saying? So they feel like, when I don't have all of this, I'm at a standstill. That ain't so. No. I'd have been a, I've literally been out this country, not on my money. <laughs> I, I've literally been to some places that would blow your mind, and it wasn't my money. See. In my house, like nothing. See. But I went overseas in Europe, all those money. Did you like anything? Were you hungry? No. If they get caught up, you get thrown out the house. Because, see, see, believing God has nothing to do with what you got, it's about what He got. See. Come on. Right. See. <laughs> when you buy the insurance policy, you don't go around worrying about your roof turning up. That's why you bought the insurance policy. That's why I got nationwide. <laughs> when the storm hit, I, I, I mean, I can sleep right through it. I ain't worried about whether the roof tore up. I mean, if it is, it's something in place to take care of. There's a law going to take care of it. See? You got rid of it. I had a blessed storm that came to us, a blessed storm. A blessed I just bought that house, and a blessed storm came in a month later after I got the house. And just went to, I mean, it went to work on that roof. Well, thank God, it got a whole new roof and gutters and everything to go with it. No. Strong when it came, I wouldn't have got there. See, some things are designed not to come against you, but to bless you. Amen. 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 Some things is, you can support, see, why you, you, you trying to figure out something that's figured. Say. Somebody said, man, 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 that house gonna need a lot of work you buy, but you know what? Uh -huh. I ain't did the, I ain't did all the work yet. The storm did the work on it. <laughs> the kitchen needs to be re remodeled. And, and you know I got remodeled? Because a, a man seen a little spot in the kitchen. Uh -huh. Brother Daniel, he said, it's a true story. He said a little spot by the vent in the kitchen. He said, you know what? Nationwide can replace the whole kitchen. Because this spot could be storm related. Hmm. He related one little spot bigger than a nickel, caused a whole kitchen to get remodeled. Uh -huh. yeah. You ain't hearing nothing I said. No, no. But I had to hear God tell me to get the house. Yeah. Well, I knew the roof was bad when I bought the house. There wasn't no carpet, there wasn't nothing in there. But while I thought I had a lot, see, you must think I'm Jane or somebody. Same. And you toss at it. I said, honey, all I need you to do is just see what I see right now. Come Trust on. me. Ooh. You're getting up trying to hit somebody now. Come on, man. Just because it don't look right, don't mean it ain't going in right. I just said something. I just said something. See, you got to have prophetic eyes. Yes, yes. When God say, trust me, what well, you can't trace me. Mm -hmm. You hear nothing else? I just said something. Some, Sometimes you, you, you write at the place you need to be and you're trying to get out and God trying to get in. Come on. you trying to quit and God trying to get in and say, hey, hold on. That's me. Stop fighting me. Say. Do this, give your primates out. You, you've been hearing this for you. You've been hearing it probably heard in your Sunday school class when you was a kid. Peter walked on the wall. Y'all know the story. The disciples hollering and screaming and, and, and sometimes you can be so desperate you don't even know how God looked on them. <laughs> That's true. Now, now, the disciple, Jesus was coming, walking on the wall. Coming, walking on the wall, Mr. Marco. Towards his disciple that he'd been teaching for three years. And they didn't even know him. Because cause the storm had gave them a perception. I just said something. Yeah. Because the storm, the storm had gave them a perception of life that wasn't real. Come on, man. The storm had gave them an illusion. And sometimes we could be walking in a situation till the storm give you an illusion. See. And that illusion become your reference point. Uh -huh. to, to the same God you prayed for this morning, now here God coming to you on the storm, and you say, God, is that you or a ghost? Say. That's what Peter said. And Peter said, God, if that be you, bid me to come. Right. You hear what I'm saying? Jeez. See, you can be in something so long, you think everything is just crazy. Say. Right. Everything is crazy. You think everything's against you. And, and, and God said, it's I. 
And I believe in this season, God has said, the thing that you're going through ain't about the devil. It's I. Hello. Mm. Right. I want to perfect you in this. I, I want to change things for you this year. I want to meet you at the point of your faith. I want to meet you at the point of your belief system. I'm going to turn this around at the place you believe. If you just, if, if you will believe and not die. Yes. Are you, are you hear me, Brother Ryan? Yes, sir. Yes, Are y'all hearing this here? Mm-hmm. Somebody write this down. The objective of your faith, and give me about 15 more minutes and we're done. The objective of your faith is the source of your faith, which are, I'll put it like this, the source of your faith determines the quality of your faith. What I say, the source of your faith determines the quality, the quality of your faith. Where did you get your faith from? Where did your faith come from? Maybe you lack confidence. Let's see where your faith come from. Maybe the lack of your faith could be because you don't know where you got your faith from. Mm. What were you listening to? Are we hearing this here? Did y'all get that? The objective of your faith and then put the source of your faith determines the quality of your faith. Hello. Are we hearing that? Yes. Now the objective of your faith determines the quantity or the size of your faith. You know the Bible talks about big faith, little faith, radical faith, no faith. See how you perceive it, how you really hear it, to tell them what size your faith. Are we hearing that thing? Now, now, now watch this here. What do you have your faith in? Is it in the thing? Is, is it in the person? Because the last I heard it, God said what? He said, I'm the author and the finisher of your faith. He said, I'm the author and the finisher of your faith. At the end of the day, you got to realize it's a done deal. Hello. God's already figured it out. Are we getting this here? Okay. And, 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 I want, and let me say this: Your faith really got to be in God, not in the church. It got to be in God, not in the church you go to. Not it got to be in God. And to say it's in God, it says it's in the Word. Yes. And I know you can believe the Word. Amen. Amen. The Word of God will, will yield its results. Amen. We got that. Okay. Okay. All right, now let's write this down. And I may have said this earlier. If I haven't, I want you to write this down. Real faith tells your mind what to think. Mm -hmm. And tells your eyes what to see. Hello. What I just said. Because see, the mind can take you on a trip. The man have you seeing something that's not really there? Hello. Are we hearing this here? Yes. Okay. All right. And then I, I give you something. I'm coming to a club, but I want to make sure that I give you these principles because I said something I want to support it now. Now, I also told you about, I, I mentioned something earlier about your feelings. Do y'all remember me talking about, remember me talking about feelings mm -hmm. earlier? I told you something. You remember me talking about feelings? I told you that that if what you feel is not connected to a principle, it's an illegal feeling. Come on now. If if what do you mean, prophet? If what you feel cannot be supported by a law and a principle, that's an illegal feeling. I just feel crazy today, but that's an illegal feeling. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing in the word of truth gonna support that. Say. I don't feel like doing nothing. You know, I, I was at the, I was at the, I'll tell you what, the camp, or, uh, camp yesterday, and this big heavy set, old, obese young man was out there, and he had this red shirt on that said, I'm not lazy, I just don't want to do nothing. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and I'm looking at that, ain't that crazy? Now, why would you want to own those words? And you already be. You know, you know, the, the, the stuff that we embrace, your, your words give off results. Everything you think, everything you say, give off results. Let me say it again. Your words give off results. 
What you think give off results. That's why the Bible said, as a man thinking, about 10 more minutes and we're done. Uh, as, as a man thinking, so is he. As a man thinking, as a man thinking, so is he. Your reality would be like the like the the life you thought of. Hello. Y'all hear this here? Yes. Yes, Are you hearing the Yes. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me, brother, sister John? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. And I'm, I'm, I'm giving it to come to the close because you got a lot in your spirit. And ask God to multiply. Because uh -huh. <clears throat> I'm not trying to give you nothing just to serve. I'm trying to give you some life food. Something you can eat off of. This is real stuff. Because if you don't eat this, you eat what the system say. When them letters come in the mail this week, mm. mother, if you ain't got no word on you, you're going to be with them letters. See. When they tell you you can't have this, you hear the proof of that, you'll fall for that. All right. When that doctor say this, if you ain't got no word on you, you can't ever believe what he said. Everybody's saying something. I said everybody is saying something. something. Come on. So if you don't hear this, you're going to hear what comes in your mailbox. Say if you don't hear this, you can hear what the bank account is saying. If you don't hear this, you can hear what the lawyer is saying. Are we hearing this here? Mm -hmm. Talk to me, Margo. Loud. It says faith comes by hearing. And we have a responsibility to hear. We have a responsibility to hear right so we just have to um, make sure, because faith comes by hearing and hearing. We just can't hear it just one time. We have to continue to hear it until it manifests within ourselves. And, and that's what the first manifestation is going to be within your being. It's going to be within you. And, and, and when, when change happens in you, everything around you changes. Amen. Because light at the end of the day, Brother Daniel, life is based on perception. Amen. I don't care how I see it, it ends up how you see it. You, you remember we were talking the other day, you said, we were talking about something and you say, you're going to know what you say, whatever you say. Mm -hmm. I, this is my perspective, but this is what, what you say. See, see, it always ends up what you say. But, I, I mean, I mean we, can, we can collaborate two or three hours, but what you say. Watch this here. In every situation, you have to be your own eyewitness. Mm, I just said something. I just said something. In every situation, you got to, you got to be your own eyewitness. Now, now many may be called to the situation court. Come on now. To the situation room. Come on, Wolf. To the situation room. But at the end of the day, you have to be your own eyewitness. What did you see? Come on now. What did you see? I, I know what I see, but what are you seeing? Hallelujah. You follow what I'm saying? Hallelujah. I don't care what I see. What you see? He said, Abraham, as far as you can see, I'll give you. If you see trouble and you want to bag up, we'll bag up. If you see an oasis, we'll go for it. Depending on what you see. Hello. You know, I was I was watching this uh, come to a close, and and, and and you know, a men's ago I come to a close about four or five times before they close. <laughs> I mean that's the third, but I got two more. <laughs> I think I use it. <laughs> so you always close five five times you must close. <laughs> Never close on the first one because you done left something out. Don't close on the third third one. Five is never favor. <laughs> So what I was saying, Margaret, before you interrupt me. <laughs> he said, Abraham, as far as you can see, I'll give you what you see. But he said, Prophet, God has said, I will give you what you see. I didn't say what the system qualified you for. I said, I will give you what you see. Now, 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 I'm going to give you a mystery. It, it may be bedtime before you catch what I'm about to say, but I'm going to give you a mystery. You might want to pin on this one. 
You might borrow some paper, borrow a pen. You, you might want to get a pencil, borrow it from somebody, somebody share it with somebody. But I'm going to give you a mystery. I'm going to give you something that's going to change your life, going to change your business, the way you do business. If you got a business, I promise you, this thing going to change. There are rules to Babylon. Now, that's just a dessert. That's just a dessert, but I'm going to get highly in a minute. There are rules to Babylon that will not change because of the way it is. But how many know that you're an ambassador in this country? You, your body lives here, but your spirit is not of here. Amen. Jesus. Your body is governed by certain rules in this land, but your spirit will not tolerate these rules. Yeah. You got to hear what I'm saying? Jesus. You are a spiritual being, having a human experience. Uh -huh. Who you see in the mirror, that's not you. That's the uniform in which you operate in. <laughs> you ain't heard nothing I see. I don't care how good you think you look, how ugly you think you look, big head, short head, no head, no legs, no arm. That ain't you. Come on now. That's a physical. You are spirit. Hello. When I take this suit off, it's helpless. It can do nothing but hang in the closet until I get back in. Say. <laughs> the suit is not the deal. That's right. Your flesh in the mirror, eyeglass, all this extra, that's, that's not, not the deal. deal. Brain, right. all that ain't the deal. The deal, mm -hmm. the deal is your spirit, man. Hallelujah. And notice that. When, when the spirit steps up out the body, you ain't got to go to cross at the altar. Come on now. The spirit ain't dead. It didn't change clothes. Hello. You ain't heard nothing I say. Yes. It's attending the same service. It's looking at his own body. Come on now. Pretty well out. Ain't got to worry about no high blood pressure no more. Cholesterol either. <laughs> Eyes free. <laughs> bye bye. See you when wanna be you. Say. You got more spirit than you got body. Come on now. Oh. You ain't heard nothing I just said. Okay. I said you got more spirit than you got body. Amen. And that's why your spirit man has to prophesy to your body and tell your body, body, I got things to do. I don't need you clock it out right now. See, oh my God. I command you to live. I got books to write, places to go and people to see. Come on now. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Because your spirit runs everything. Come on now. Your assignment is not given to the flesh, it's given to your spirit. You existed before you ever became spiritual spiritual in your day. Come on now. You ain't see, see y'all. See, y'all think life started when you was birthed. My yeah. birthday. That ain't your birthday, that's your human day. Hello. That's your Earth Day. Say. They ought to call it Earth Day. All right now. Come okay, let, let, let me show you something. Like, I thought I got, got your attention that something about to cut me out. You sit your butt down now, won't you? Uh -huh. Yes, I'm talking to you. <laughs> he know I'm talking to you. Don't worry about it. He know I'm talking to you. Amen. Amen. He hit that joint and inherit something. Now he ain't going to hit it no more. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. I'm crazy. I know, I'm not trying to make sense. I tried to make sense years ago. It don't make no sense to make sense. Say. But it makes sense to make faith. Come on now. You get that tomorrow. See, you ain't doing it until you make faith. That's when God comes. Oh. When you start making faith. Oh. Now watch this here. Now I just told you that you had a life before you got here. Am I right? Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Listen. Let's stay with me right quick. You ain't got nothing to do. Because you're tired of living that old life anyway. Yeah, I'm all. Living the same. Rushing to do the same. Rushing to do the same. You ever see people rush to do the same? Mm -hmm. Nothing to do is go and feed that flesh, feed that body. Get us some turkey and pork. Mm -hmm. Make it lazy and sleep. That's right. Mr. Visitation of God, can you fill a pork? Mm -hmm. I ain't heard from God. You can't hear that high blood pressure. cholesterol got you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been hearing your blood pressure at uh, 3.0 over 5, and you, I'm sure you ain't hearing either. <laughs> I said, blood talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> take, your, take your temperature. Okay, <laughs> now listen, listen, I, I just shared something with you. Listen, listen, I just shared something with you. 
You were somebody before you ever was birthed in yes, your mind. Well, you must say, well, I came through a, a rape case, a child molestation or whatever. Don't matter how you came, you here now. Say, I say, you here now, you gotta be loud. Okay, but watch this here. Let me show you something here. And then, and then I'm gonna show you this, then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the point I was gonna give it to you. It says, now, 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 now uh, God speaks to Jeremiah. He said, now the word of the Lord came to, to him saying, before I formed you in the belly, I knew you. Good. See that? Before I put you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Come on now. Before you became spiritual spirit in your day, I knew you. Mm. What, what he wasn't talking about flesh, he's talking about spirit. spirit. We had a relationship oh, before you ever came. Before I formed you in the belly, I knew you. And before you were born, I sanctified you. Amen. See, you got benefits that have got nothing to do with this life. Say. Are y'all hearing this here? You got to be like the book of Jude. You got to go back and say, God, give me the faith I had before the world began. Say. Are y'all yes, hearing this here? Is anybody hearing this here? Yes. Before the world began. See, you, you, you got a contract and ain't got nothing to do with, with what's happening right now. How are we hearing this here? Amen. Now, here's the mystery. Right now, this is the law of the blood. Just write this down. It's going to be real quick. And I'm not going to explain this. This one, you, this one, it's going to grow on you. Someone write down the law of the blood. Now someone said, what does that mean? The law of the blood means something must die for something to live. Yes, something must die for something to live. Mm -hmm. yes, and we said it again. Something must die for something to live. If it ain't working for you, kill it. Come if on. it's trying to kill you, kill it. Say, something has to die for something to live. Amen. Are we Hallelujah. hearing it? Mm. Ignorance and wisdom can't live in the same house. Something has to die for something to live. And whoever you choose to, 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 to die, that's what's going to live. If you choose to kill wisdom, then ignorance is going to live in your life. Say. Mm. If you choose to, to, to kill stupidity, then wisdom is going to live in your life. Amen. Are you following me? Come on in. If what you're doing in your business, in your personal life ain't working, the Bible said choose this day. Life or death. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Come on now. I'm done. I'm going to stop. Right I'm just going to stop right there. I'm going to stop right there. Come on, give God a hand. 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 Glory be to God. Let's get ready to worship God in our tithes and in our offerings. Are you following what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, see, see you, see, whatever you got the faith in, that would be your result. Mm -hmm. And that's why when, when, when the house don't go right and the car don't go right, people got their faith in that. So when things don't look right, oh, they shout. Everybody want to leave now because they shout. Well, you, that ain't where you put your, your faith should be in the word. Are you hearing me down for Amen. So you mean, you mean, I ain't supposed to trust my wife? I didn't say that. I said your trust is supposed to be as under God. See. And you got to trust God to keep your spouse in line. See. And when they ain't in line, you ain't God. They ain't, they ain't your, you ain't their mama, you ain't their daddy. Mm -hmm. I, don't have, I don't have the time to try to raise nobody. I've raised all my kids are grown. Hello. I thought I married a woman. She thought she married a man. How about that? So when I get through whining and she gets through whining, then we put our big drawers on her and we follow the word. Yes. <laughs> come on now, come on now, because man, you you not you you not gonna you ain't you you not gonna like everybody every day. Amen. It is a day you just did, come on. That you lying to me. Now we grill everything. Something wrong. Somebody can that's wrong. You lying. I don't like the TV show, so I get them to go another room. I don't like she likes stories. I don't like stories. I like football, she don't like football. That don't mean I'm not in love, but I ain't got to be held hostage in my house to, to watch the show to prove I love you. I don't like it. I'm going to the next room. See you when that's over. Hello. The other night, I got ready to go to bed, Mother, and she was watching something. I wanted to watch Wendy. 
<laughs> and so I walked in the room, and so it, it, it is rude to come in there and try to control the TV, and because she was watching it first. And so, uh, uh, so I said, you watch me film? She said, no, I'm going to watch it. So I walked in there. So I grabbed my blanket, and I, and I went to the other room. <laughs> and, then, and then after I grabbed my blanket, you know, I was going to need to come to that room. And so I came back to the room. Time is everything. <laughs> Girl, I'm supposed to get there late. <laughs> There's some things you gotta give in. Hello. All right, y'all real deep. Y'all real deep. Y'all real deep. See, see, you ain't preaching let you reach it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, people come from a long way. Yeah. Amen. People come from a long way. Someone was telling me the other day they seen someone and and they they said, well, uh, you know, our. Uh, well, I've been there, I've been there. Anyway, they, they come from, somebody was into something that didn't look right as a man. And uh, I told the person, I said, now, they was trying to judge. They said, don't judge that because that may not be that. Hello. Some of y'all can hear that. Just because it's acting like that, where did that come from? Say. It wasn't acting of its sex, of, of the sex that it was. Mm -hmm. I'm careful words because we're, we're on. Hello. So it went after the sex, it was born. And so somebody was trying to judge it. I had no, what do y'all say? I don't think nothing. I said, because first of all, I don't, that's because that's acting like that. Let's find out where that come from. See. How did that happen? Mm, we don't want to go there, do we? We want to talk about what we see, how it's acting, but let's chase the roots of where that came from. We don't want to find like that. Could have been tampered with. Hello, come we ever thought about that? Say. Did anybody ever chase down the spirit to see what they're tampering with? Why it's doing that? Come on now. We just want to deal with that. That's good, man. You follow? See, people come a long, a long way. Yes, they do. One time my wife was preaching, and I got a word here. I'm still on the word. We still deal with faith. But faith did with people. Amen. I said, faith didn't deal with stuff. See, that stuff would be added. Faith deals with you. When you get right, everything comes in order that she'll come to you when you get. Because the first thing faith gonna do is deal with your nature. It's gonna deal with your mind. It's gonna deal with your spirit. Amen. Because sometimes, Brother Daniel, God don't move you out of the situation. Sometimes he 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 develops you in the situation. Hello. You ain't hearing nothing I see. Sometimes you want to come out and God's trying to make you the leader in that situation. Sometimes if God just changed you, you may not want to move yourself. Come on now. Sometimes you don't know what you got because you ain't developed. See. You may be sitting with a gold man. You may be sleeping with a gold man trying to turn the horse gold man. See. See. The very thing that you don't want may be the thing that God has written in your life. See. Is anybody hearing this here? Mm -hmm. Now this ain't getting nobody no good if you done left yours and, and whatever, whatever. I'm not really on that. That was really one of the messages. Okay. But, but God ain't sending everybody away. Hello. Sometimes God will toughen you in the battle. Right. Some God, God will change you when he changed you. I'm telling you, your perspective is going to be different. Mm -hmm. You're going to look at it different. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, brother, brother Ryan, the way I looked at the thing when I was 20, now I'm on 60, I see it different. I used to wonder, when I was 21, I used to wonder what men, men did when they was almost 60. I said, what kind of, I wonder what they do. Hmm. <laughs> Keep living, son. I used to wonder, I would have been my friend, I said, I wonder what, 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 what them old men do. You know what I mean? And now, now that I'm almost 60, you know what I mean? I, I, old what? What's old? I mean, God, I'm looking for the men that come to old school. Yeah. I mean, somebody come to old school, what's up, old school? I said, let's call me school, because I ain't old. But I'm schooling. You listen to me, I'm schooling. But I ain't, I ain't old, I'm a fresh school. Come listen on to me. Now. I'm a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. I am a school. Y'all know. I walk by that wisdom. wisdom of saying you time, money, meet you a lot of friends. Mm -hmm. You know, some of the people leave the back of your head and want to meet you. I was, I was at, I was at, uh, I was at Dallas Cowboys. Uh, I was at the Star yesterday and, and with my grandson. And uh, I'm going somewhere. Just, just bear along with me. I promise you, you'll be blessed. Mm -hmm. I promise you, your tomorrow will be easy. Amen. This word is poking. I got. Well, this is a life-changing word. I got. 
You, you follow what I'm saying? See, see, when you got it, you don't have to, you don't, you don't have to flounce it when you got it. When it's on you, everybody knew it. Hello. They'll gravitate. I'm sitting on the sideline there at the start and kept some of the cowboys are training and the youth camp there, had my grandson there. I'm sitting on the sideline and the, so I got to speak to Jumbo Armorello on uh, up Margo, me and my daughter. And so I hear this guy hollering in the background. Hey, you, with that big umbrella and them locks in your head. When I heard that, but I didn't think he was talking to me because there's so many people there with umbrellas. You see what I'm saying? And with locks, most of the cowboys had locks. You see what I'm saying? So I'm not really identifying. And so my daughter said, hey, Dad, I think he's talking to you. But out of all these people with umbrellas and locks, he's talking to you. And the spirit told me he's trying to be friendly. And so he said it one more time. He said, share the number with us. I said, come on, share it. And that was just an icebreaker. One thing led to another. I mean, he got some stuff I can use. I got some stuff he can use. You see what I'm saying? So it's on. But what it was, when people can spot the anointing on your life, it was the anointing. It wasn't me. It was the anointing. See, when that, see, the real faith will leave an anointing on you. And let me say it again. Real faith will leave an anointing on you that people want to gravitate to. Are you following what I'm saying? Because the anointing is a game changer. Somebody needs to write that down. Yes, it if is. you're going to be anything, be anointed. Hello. Oh, I know that ain't popular. I know I won't get no hearts, no tweets, or none of that. But the anointing is a game changer. Yes, it is. Try to be it. It's a game changer. I said, be anointed when you have the business. It's a game changer. Yes. Know the facts, know the rules, but you got to know spiritual principles too. Hello. I'm talking to God the other day about something. He said, now you can have what you say. <laughs> he said, but I just got to know you're going to be saying the same thing tomorrow. Hello. I, I just said something to somebody. Yeah. He said, now you can have what you say, but, but Brother Daniel, I just need to know, are you going to be saying the same thing tomorrow? Because see, sometimes when we get around certain people, we change our tune. How, how many of you hear what I'm saying? You hear me, Margo? He said, if you continue in my word, the way we said, first he said, and you should know the truth, and the truth you know. Should what? Say it again. And the truth you know, make, the truth you know makes you free. The, the law you know, the principle you know makes what? What principle you got to support the change that you're trying to make? Mm, on, I just man. said something. What principle in your life, young lady, do you have to make the necessary change that you want to see in your life? What principle do you have to, to embedder yourself? What principle do you have concerning that thing that's buffing your body, that thing that's trying to attack your body? What principle are you standing on? Amen. What principle are you standing on? Uh, uh, well, well, you know, Lord, I, I, God wants you to increase me with money. Well, God's not going to increase you with no money. First of all, that ain't where God works. He don't just go increasing money. Because you need something. That's no reason. That's just like going tomorrow and asking your, your supervisor or manager or whoever, if you don't own your own business, uh, uh, I want to raise. Say. Just because you don't want to raise, that don't constitute you going to get one. Because they may raise you from the first row to the second one to get them out of their face. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I'm having a financial problem. Well, we don't even talk about giving you, because if I give you more money and you're still crazy, then now you got a bigger problem. Say. You got more problems. Okay. Okay, we don't want to go there. Then. We don't want to go there. See, we, we don't want to. We don't. We, don't, we want more. But let's talk. What's happened to what you got? What you did with what you got? Say. What if I told? What else? I, I, I submitted to you. Every time faith comes, it brings a wisdom. Amen. You ain't heard nothing I say. Every time faith comes, it brings a conversation from God. Yes, it does. Y'all ain't heard nothing I say. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, right? Come on. Faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the word of God, right? Right. God, when God talks, he talks where you can understand him. When God speaks, he's speaking a wisdom to you. Amen. Are we hearing this here? Yes. Some say God talks in wisdom. God talks in wisdom. 
Because the word gives you the knowledge. Wisdom makes sure you're not a use to knowledge. Hosea 4 and 6 says what? My people are destroyed for what? For the lack of knowledge because they reject truth. Come on now. And the only reason you reject truth because you ain't got no wisdom how to apply knowledge. Hello. Because that's that's all that wisdom is just the ability to know how to apply knowledge. And because you can have all the knowledge you want to and don't know how to apply it. It's kind of like having direct TV and you don't know how to operate the, the, the remote. All you gotta do is change channels. And it does way more than that. Paying for stuff that you're not benefiting from. You'd be surprised, Brother Daniel, the people who, who, who are saved and, 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 and confess their salvation, but not benefiting from salvation. Come on, man. They're just waiting on a bus ticket to heaven. And I'm trying to find out this. I mean, that is, that is so unreal. I hear Mrs. Mark. Yes, I hear me, Brother Jesse. What, what about when the scripture talks about uh, those things that accompany salvation? Those things that go along with salvation. See, since you're here, you might, have, you might as well maximize the life that's here. Is anybody hearing this truth? You might as well maximize the life that's here. What he tells the disciples, mother, he said, the disciples said, uh, teach us how to pray. He said, pray this, thy kingdom come. Thy system come. The kingdom is a system. Thy system come. Thy kingdom come. Thy system come. Thy will be done in earth as it is. As it is. As it is. God bless you. God bless you, man of God. As it is in heaven. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom come. Thy kingdom. Now, I'm going to say this to you to get in your spirit. See, Amen. here's the deal. You call yourself a believer, but you try to live out of, out of a Babylon system. Come on now. I just said something. What's the Babylon system? Carpet miracle. Hello. Babylon system. And if you don't know what kingdom laws to stand on, you're going to submit to that Babylon system. You're going to pay more for everything because you don't know nothing. Come on now. Is anybody hearing this here? Do you know, you know, some people say education is expensive. Ignorance is real expensive. Come it's never on sale. Yeah. It's not ignorance. It don't, it just don't want a red light sale. It ain't never on sale. It's yeah. real expensive not to know. Are you following what I'm saying? You know, it, it, it's hard to go in a country when you don't speak their language because they could be saying anything and you don't know what they're saying. Go to Germany. Go to Germany. I was over in Germany. I did a, I preached 21 days over in Germany. What was that, 05? 05? I was over there 21 days preaching in the conference in Germany and they have the Euros. And if you don't know how to count, you can, you can get ticked for a ride. Amen. You better know how to count your money. You can't go up there with no American money. You need to <laughs> And you got to know how much to give because if they ain't going to it for you, if you're that stupid, if they, if they told you it was $200 and you put a photo out, thank you and have a nice day. you discover when you get back to America that you've been had. <laughs> see, you, see your, your culture has a language. Faith, the kingdom of God has a language. Now I'm gonna say something here. A prophet, I'm gonna say something here, and I'm about to rally some 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 sacred cows and people with some sacred cows. And, and I may be trying to tweet me, call me, do call me. We talk further if you want to. But God did not design the believer to live off miracles. Mm. Uh -oh. Come on now. Uh -oh. I said, God did not design the believer to live off miracles. How do you know a miracle for your life is not God's best? Hello. Oh, boy. Hello. Oh, mm, I just kicked over a sacred cow. I just closed somebody's ministry now. Let me say that again. It's not God's best for you to live off a miracle. Because when you keep living off a miracle, after miracle, after miracle, every day, that means it's a crisis in your life that you're not dealing with. Hello, come on now. Right. Oh, thank God. I got a miracle on my rent this week. You need a miracle for something wrong. Uh -huh. if, uh, Brother Dave, if I need a miracle to pay my house on every month, you better check me out, little fuck. Because right. that, that, that shit, come on now. Now, now, now we understand the life though is this blow, but if life beating you like that every month, every time you stand up, you got another miracle on your house, something wrong, baby. 
Come on. It ain't enough in your spirit or enough in the bank, but something wrong. Mm -hmm. We found out what's going on. Now watch this here. Because he's so smart at saying that. Well, the scripture say signs, wonders, and miracles will follow the belief. Right. It is said you live by. Come on now. <laughs> you follow the spirit. Are you following what I'm saying? Well, well then, I'm not living a life. If I